Okay, this is gonna be a quick video, but if you've ever tried to use Eleven Labs to clone your own voice, you might know that it's hard to get a voice that sounds exactly like you, but I found a hack to get it the exact right way. So just to show you an example, I have two clones right here, one before I knew the hack and one after I knew the hack, and you'll be able to see right here how different they actually sound and which one is better. So just for reference, what I was trying to go for is the exact same intro from this video. So I wanted the voice to sound as much like this as possible. So take a listen to this, because this is the reference that I'm going for. In this video, I'm going to show you how to earn money with Snapchat. The requirements, the shortcuts, and all the secret methods the biggest creators are using to make the most money possible. But that's not all. At the end, I'm even going to be showing you how much money Okay, so you get the idea. That's what I actually sound like, and that's what I wanted my voice to sound like. So what I did with Eleven Labs is what probably everyone else does. You go to voices, you click add new voice. I actually bought the plan where you can get a professional voice clone and that's significantly better. So I highly recommend doing that. But if you didn't, you might just click instant voice clone. And then you basically just get MP3s from all the videos that you made and you upload them here. So it replicates your noise. So it replicates how you sound. So I got a bunch of videos from my unfiltered channel, got those as MP3s. And then I also got a bunch of videos from this channel and I got those as MP3s and I uploaded them all to here to train the voice. And when I did that, the voice came out pretty badly. Listen to how it actually came out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to earn money with Snapchat, the requirements, the shortcuts, and all the secret methods the biggest creators are using to make the most money possible. But that's not all. At the end, I'm even going to be showing you how much money I've made with Snapchat with 350,000 followers. Okay, yeah, it got my tonality right and my accent right, but the way it was speaking didn't sound like an actual human saying a sentence. It just kind of sounded like, and in this video, I'm going to be, and it kind of sounded robotic and the tones weren't matched up to the sentence. And then I used the one hack to improve it and then listen to how much better this sounds. In this video, I'm going to show you how to earn money with Snapchat, the requirements, the shortcuts, and all the secret methods the biggest creators are using to make the most money possible. But that's not all. At the end, I'm even going to show you how much money I've made with Snapchat with 350,000 followers. So this voice clone right here, I think is genuinely so good. To me, it actually sounds really, really close to this exact voice. And so now that you see how much better it can actually get, here's how I was able to do it. So what you have to realize is that when you're trying to train a voice model, if you feed it a bunch of different data that's different, it's not going to know what to do. And it's going to just mess up completely like how in that first one did. Like, yes, it'll get your tonality right, but it'll have like glitchy, weird intonations at different parts. And if you make this mistake like I did, it's probably because you think, also like I did, that the more data you can give about the person or the voice, the better that it'll be for this. But that's not true. What really makes the best possible voice clone is the more consistent data you can give it, the better the voice clone will be. And it'll copy that exact consistent thing that you give it. So you don't want to be giving it a recording from day one and day two, where, you know, on one day you might've been a little bit sick or on day two, you might've been a little bit more excited. You want the entire audio recording that you give it to be the exact same the whole way through. So your pitch should be the same. So your intonation should be the same the whole way through. Your excitement level should be the same the whole way through. Everything should be the exact same. And that's how you actually clone a voice that talks exactly how you want to talk. And I know what you might be thinking here. You're like, well, Bennett, what if at some parts of the video, I want to talk excitedly and other parts of the video, I want to talk with less excitement? Well, it's actually a way better idea to create two voices in that case, train one off of lower excitement voice and train another off of higher excitement voice. And then you can switch between depending on which one you need. But do not try to train one model on one day where you talked excitedly and another day where you talked boringly. Anyway, what I did instead to really improve the voice is I took a video that I already made like this one. And then first things first, I use this Chrome extension. It's called glass.co. It's completely free. I'll leave it in the description, but basically it's a Chrome extension. What it allows you to do is it automatically gets the transcript from any of your videos. So right here, it gives me the full transcript of this video. I just click copy and then I go to chat GPT. And then I say, give me this exact transcript with out timestamps and with correct punctuation. Okay, then it gives me that. And then what I did is I copy pasted this script into a Google Doc. And then I recorded one audio recording straight through. You can see right here. This was like literally the exact script straight through. But the thing that's important is I didn't use a bunch of different tonalities throughout the script as I did with the YouTube video. So you can't just take this YouTube video and post it in because during this YouTube video, you were probably more excited in the intro and then a little less excited during the body of the video and then different tone in the conclusion. And also this video has a ton of cuts in it, which is going to mess up how it understands like how you pause when you talk and everything. Thing like that. 
So what I did instead was I recorded one video pretty much straight through. I took very little breaks and tried to make as few mistakes as possible so I didn't have to add that many cuts. And most crucially, I recorded this video in the exact same tone. So if I look at the script, it's not like after I said the intro, I became less excited since I was talking about the real stuff. I kept the same exact tonality throughout this whole thing. So if I start my intro, I might be like, what are the best and worst social media platforms to make money with? In this video, I'll be ranking the most, like I'll talk like in that tone, but then all the way down through the rest of the video, I was keeping that same exact tone. So I would say like, to show you this, let's take a look at one of my faceless channels and how much money it makes per thousand views. Now, normally in a video, I wouldn't be that excited that late into the video, but I made sure to maintain that pace so it would train the model correctly. Like normally in a video, I would just say like, to show you this, let's look at one of my faceless channels and see how much money it makes per thousand views. But no, I kept up my excitement the whole way through. And then again, I did professional voice clone, which is significantly better. And professional voice clone needs at least 30 minutes of clean audio, but this recording was only 14 minutes. And I think when I cut it down, it was closer to like 13 or 12. And so all I did was I copy pasted that three times. So it passed the 30 minute threshold and I uploaded it to professional voice clone. And that made the voice so, so, so much better. It was insane. And so, yeah, this was just a quick tip on how to actually get the absolute perfect voice clone. And if you want to clone your voice like I did, I think 11 labs is like the best voice clone on the internet right now. So I'm going to leave the link to 11 labs in the description. And yeah, this is just genuinely a free tip. I hope this helps you make whatever voice clone you're trying to make. And it genuinely does a much, much, much better job of getting the exact pitch that you want. So with that being said, the mission of this channel is to remove all geekkeeping from different make money online side hustles. I know a lot of people use voice replication to try to make money online, whether it's for YouTube videos or for whatever you're using it for. So I hope this tip actually helped. And if you want to support the mission, you could subscribe to me or the best way to support the mission is to go to my discord and drop your absolute best money making sauce in here. With that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video and peace.